what's up guys once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys as simon had passed two weeks uh sit at home and go the entire southeast um there's a good news of a woman a philanthropic lady who has uh, rescued more than 200 Biafran children and she's feeding them so i'd like you guys to watch this video then after that we'll be back to um, analyze uh, this video and also the two weeks sit at home that was ordered by Simon Ekpa. So just watch the video and then after that I'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys, as Simon had passed two weeks at that um bite even more harder and hardship engulfed the entire southeast. Um, this lady here I've been able to prove that um the Biafran children who died during the civil war that there will be no repeat of such at least in our own domain she will do everything she takes to actually rescue these children imagine feeding these more than 200 children for complete two weeks she decided to do it on her own from her own pocket to rescue these children because um looking at the the sit at home the sit at home has a disastrous effect Although Simon Ekpa said he's to rescue Namde Kanu, uh, Namde Kanu, according to his legal counsel, has uh, um, brought out a letter from Namde Kanu that the Sid Adom should be discontinued, ordering Simon Ekpa to immediately stop the Sid Adom. But Simon Ekpa rejected the letter. And the reason why he rejected the letter, I think, is so obvious. Someone like well looked at it. That letter is not from Nam the Kanu. The tone is not from Nam the Kanu, especially the first one. Ordering Simon Ekpa to stop attacking Southeastern politicians. You know, that tone in itself looks very um, unlike Nam the Kanu. You see, this sit at home was actually enacted by Nam the Kanu, was enacted by him. And then they kind of uh, make making a U turn now. I be as he regretted it, or as at the time he enacted it, he didn't see the the consequences of this sit at home. So now that Simon Ekpa have taken the sit at home to another level, will now the kind of now come out to actually kick against the idea of the sit at home he actually uh, started. You know, so those are some of the things we are looking at now. That's why uh, Simon Ekpa actually gained the ground to reject the Cedar Dome. Personally to me, I don't support the Cedar Dome because I definitely know that Nam Dekana will be released at the end of the day. There's no how. What idea, I think what um, South Easterners are supposed to do or what Biafran are supposed to do on the case of Nam Dekana is to lobby international organization to speak for Nam Dekan, to speak out against the Nigerian government. You know, that's what they should have done. Lobby. To lobby international organization, you have to 
to pay them something. And then they will speak out for you. They will speak out like Amnesty International, you know, and other kind of bodies, United Nations bodies, or even um, uh, some, some international groups. They will speak out for you. You know, so those are the things that are supposed to be done. The fight should have been taken to the international community because looking at it now, it is the people that is bearing the brunt of it all. The people are the ones suffering. Imagine two weeks, not going to work, and why these people stay away? They don't even go to market. If they attempt to open their market on those sit-at-home days, the market will be burnt down. It will be burnt down in the night. So they are afraid. They have to comply with anything that is being said. And of course, in a lot of Southeasterners, their work is mainly trade. So it is a very dangerous situation. It's a very dangerous moment. They are in between the deep blue sea and the devil. Because right now, you don't even know what to do. You know, so nobody even know what to believe again. Now the Kano said it should stop. His legal counsel came out, and just recently, Mike is a comment who is a a son, senior advocate of Nigeria, came out and said the same thing. And now the Kano was crying, you know, that the Sidadom should stop, and that if he's given a chance, he's going to address world conference, you know, and all of that on this Sidadom. So you see, there are a whole lot of things. Now Simon Ekpa is now the Prime Minister of Biafra land without the blessings of Namde Kanu. Namde Kanu is the savior of Biafra land. That's why you see any Biafran who say Namde Kanu is the savior. is a savior. But what is happening now to me appears as if as a coup. Simon Ekpa have taken over totally from Namde Kanu without Namde Kanu's blessings. So, but I don't know what do you guys actually think about this. Although some people have look at the idea that now they cannot be in prison, another person must take over, that the battle must go on, which to me appears very logical. The battle must go on for the uh, agitation and emancipation of Biafra land. So that is what Simon Ekman right now is doing. And this is not comfortable at all with the Nigerian government. They are planning the extradition of Simon Ekba to Nigeria to answer for crimes against Nigeria. So to me, uh, looking at that move by the federal government, I see it that it may backfire and that it will not be possible to really extradite uh, Simon Ekba to Nigeria. It's not easy extraditing somebody, especially somebody who is a freedom fighter. It's not easy because if you look at the case of Nam Dekani, you saw how the federal government used fraudulent means to bring back Namdi against the federal government, which to me, I look at it that it may not even be successful at the end of the day because in Finland, Simon Ekba is seen as a freedom fighter. Or are they saying that they are not aware of the activities of Simon Ekba against Nigeria in Finland? They are aware. But you see, they see him as a, as a freedom fighter and I think I've watched some video where Simon Ekpa actually addressed the Prime Minister of Finland, you know, um, telling him that he is a freedom fighter, the leader of Biafra movement to emancipate Biafra and all of that, and declaring his stance, you know, for the freedom of the Biafra land. So they might not extradite him. That's what I'm looking at because they might see him that he may become the prisoner of conscience, that their people trust him so much and all of that, you know. So, what do you guys think? Please kindly just drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma TV. God bless you.